Hey, what's up guys? This is the Inmotion L9 electric scooter. I've been waiting for this thing for seven months now, so long that I was starting to think that it might have been a scam. I ordered this back in May on Indiegogo. The estimated delivery date was in August and I got it, I just got it basically on December 28th. So seven full months, basically four months after the promised uh, not promised, but estimated delivery date. I shouldn't say promised. All right, I'm excited to open this. I do have the 9 Bomb Max. I have a whole bunch of videos on that. I will put links in the description below. I'm basically going to unbox this. I'm going to compare it to the 9 Bomb Max, which I'll bring over here once I put this together. I'm going to do several videos on this, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to do. I'm going to compare this to the 9 Bomb Max. I'm going to compare accelerations uh, any way I can, I guess. I'm gonna, definitely going to do range tests, so all the way battery 100% charged to 0% charged, or I should say uh, out of charge, and I'm um, about 200 pounds, which I believe is around 91 kilograms, and so that should give you guys a basis, because this is basically a 59 mile range scooter. Uh, then again, the 9 Bomb Max was a 40.4 mile range scooter, which I believe is 65 kilometers, and I only got like 28 miles out of that thing, which is 45 kilometers, I think? Hey Google, what's uh, 28 miles in kilometers? 28 miles is equal to 45.062 kilometers. Okay, so 45 kilometers. Alright, let's open this up. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. I was starting to think that it wasn't going to come. But it did come, so it's definitely not a scam, just took a while. So I checked the website and it's I think it retails according to the website right now, it's retailing for 999 bucks, so 1000 bucks. I bought it a long time ago as part of the early bird special. I bought mine for 600 bucks essentially. I think it was like 550 plus 50 bucks for shipping. So yeah. Okay, so it's a box within a box. Um, let me open up this box as well. That's actually kind of smart um, because the outer box can get damaged. All right. <clears throat> Continuing on. So it looks like got some parts, got some screws in there, so I gotta be careful with that. And some Allen wrenches and stuff. Okay, I don't know what this is. This might be the clip when you fold the scooter. I, I could be wrong, I'll find out a little bit later. Uh, this looks like the, the, the pump extension really, because th these things when you put a normal pump in, it's really hard to get to and a regular power plug. I believe this supports a dual charger um, and you got some screws and some Allen wrenches. So I'll put those here so I don't lose anything. Put that here. And while I'm opening this up, I'll actually talk about the specs as well. Okay, so it's an 18.6 mile an hour scooter. That's the max speed, just like the same as my 9 Bot Max. Uh, that translates to 30 kilometers an hour. The range is 59 miles, which I think translates to 95 kilometers. Hey Google, what's 59 miles in kilometers? 59 miles is equivalent to 94.951 kilometers. Okay, so basically 95 kilometers and it is a 500 watt brushless tuned uh, motor and it can take a payload of up to 308 pounds which is a lot hey google what's 308 pounds in kilograms 308 pounds is 139.706 kilograms that's a lot that's a lot more than the 220 pounds the 9 bot max can take granted i've put more weight on that uh, so manuals and stuff let me do another shot quick shot of this with the other camera just so you guys could see so this is what it looks like when you're unboxing it so handlebar it pretty much looks connected it looks like i have to just screw that in place very similar to the 9 bot max it does ha it does have disc brakes actually 
So it has shocks and yeah, it looks clean. So very nicely packaged, very, very nicely packaged. I do have to say. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if I could, I'm sure this would be easier with two people. Not a step. Okay, I don't want to hold it from there. I don't want to break that. Suspension might be okay. Alright, let's go beast mode. Let me get a good grip. Oh, man. That is heavy. That is heavy. All right, extremely well packaged, I, I do have to say. Uh, let me just put this in real quick. Okay, cool. All right, let me see what else is in the box. What the hell is it? Oh, well, the, the charger, right? Yeah, okay. So hidden on the side of this is probably Oh yeah, I guess I did get the power plug for that. This looks like a charger. Let me see if there's anything else really quick in here so I could just put this on the ground. No. I think that's it. And it looks like they did put a little of grease or oil or whatever, so I guess it's well ready, well maintained to be in this box for a while. And that's it, nothing else in the box. Nothing else in the box, basically. All right, let's put the box aside. This is actually a pretty cool kickstand. You don't need a kickstand if you have this. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside this box. So I'm assuming it's the charger. I guess I got excited. I thought that plugged directly in the scooter but okay no it does come with the power brick so for some reason because the 9 mile max is and I'll show you guys but it comes with a power plug I think you can also get another power plug for that one as well with a brick but right now it just comes with the wire so I guess this is what it comes with screw and it won't even let you screw it in backwards if you put it in because there's no screw holes in the back all right let's actually just Turn this thing, screw everything in. Few moments later. All right, so here they are side by side in Motion L9 with the 9V Max. So to turn this thing on, hold it, turns on. You could change it from miles per hour to kilometers in the, inside the settings, inside the app. Double click twice to, ba double click twice. Double press to change modes. Uh, double press uh, to change it again and keep doing it. So Eco, D is standard, S is sport. In the app, there's also a mode called walking mode. So if you're going to walk the scooter, you could just put it in that mode. So this is obviously the clip. So this is where you pretty much fold it. So let me see if I could do it with one hand while I'm filming. It's not going to be super easy. Okay, so when you're taking this off, this part cause actually comes out, so you can't actually fold it until you take this all the way down, and then this part comes back up, and now you can fold it. Oh, so now it's actually complaining. Oh, that's interesting. It's complaining because I did it while the scooter is on. That's interesting. Okay, so I turned off the scooter, which you just hold to turn off. So when you take it down, you just... Push that and then good to go and it says like, oh, hold it from here. This is where you lift it from. So then you basically just grab it. I feel like it's a little more... This is actually wrong. It's actually more from here. It's more balanced from here. It supports dual charging, so two ports. I only got one with one charger. I Dual charging for me is less important. For some people it might be more important. It's not for me. Uh, kickstand. Uh, shocks and stuff obviously I mentioned uh, so folds down and this brakes and you have the 10 inch pneumatic tires 
and you get this little cool in motion l9 thing here you can put a sticker here reflective sticker whatever you want to do so we're going to pop this back on so here's the interesting thing when you try to put this back it's not going to let you until you put this all the way down which just comes up then you do that then you fold it and just clips in and then you're good to go and if you guys want to see how the lights work so we'll turn this on again so if you tap it once lights go on uh, you can see it on the TV I'm sure it shows better during the day and if I turn it on you also get the rear light right here as well now inside the app I can actually go in and turn on the controls for the other lights so if I go to vehicle if I go to settings light effect so that's what it looks like and if I turn on the signal for calibration it'll actually start blinking because I'm tilting it one way and if I tilt it the other way blinks the other side so you can turn that off and on you can also just turn off the light effects and just have the blinking on screen and turn that off okay so basically you could see that you could you could pretty much leave it off until you're signaling then it comes on which is really nice that they separated that uh, so I'm gonna turn that off this is what I was talking about the walking mode so it says pushing assistant mode easier to push to scooter so when you put in this mode it doesn't look like and you could see that here it's in this pushing mode I didn't see an option on how to get to it directly from the scooter itself so you might have to use it with the app so I guess that's to bolt other stuff. Is that for the seat? Possibly for the seat. I don't know what that's for just yet. I'll just leave the stuff plugged in. It's kind of funny, like the lights are on right now with the in motion, but when I turn on the light with the nine bot, I don't know. Is it is it brighter? What do you guys think? Okay, so this is just the uh, nine bot max lights. Let me turn off the nine bot max lights. Turn on the emotion lights. I feel like this is just less concentrated, a wider light, which makes sense because there's all if you see two LEDs, where this one is a single LED. It might be just a little bit stronger. The backlight looks stronger on the 9 bot Max than it does on the Inmotion L9. It also looks cooler on the 9 bot Max than the Inmotion L9. But yeah, and obviously this thing has shocks where the Nine bot does not. And obviously, this thing is much bigger in size, and the handlebar sits a little bit higher as well. It could also take more weight at 308 pounds, which I think is 139 kilograms versus the 100 kilograms or 220 pound rating. Granted, I have put more weight on the 9 Max and it was fine, uh, but I'm not saying you should do that. 12 seconds later. Alright, so first impressions, I've been riding it for about 15 minutes or so and uh, overall well built, uh, acceleration is good, uh, I will compare it to the 9 Ball Max uh, later in another video, uh, but it's pretty good, uh, scooter feels well balanced because the battery's on the bottom just like the 9 Ball Max, uh, it does feel softer than the 9 Ball Max, smoother I should say, uh, again because of the shocks which is to be expected. However, I will say that the regen braking is essentially non-existent. Uh, so when you let go of the throttle, it doesn't really slow down. I couldn't find an option in the app to let it set it for me. In the 9 Mile Max, you actually get an option in there. You could even put it on this high setting, which is the one I like. Uh, but hopefully they do add it later. I mean, I do realize I get it super early on, so hopefully they do add it. I will also say that the disc brakes will work very well. And the other issue is with this bell, when you're using the throttle, you pretty much can't hit it with your thumb. You kind of have, while you're riding it, you kind of have to use your index finger 
to actually hit it. Not that I use the bell too often, but just something a uh, heads up. I like the 9 Bot Max's spinning thing for the bell uh, much better than this. But again, it's not something I use too often. Anyways, those are my first impressions.